I am. Okay, great. And also, I didn't mention, we are recording, we're doing some video that we're going to give the links to their uh, to their presentation back to the students. And they remind me that we should actually use the microphone so that audio is better in that recording. Okay. Well, good afternoon, all of you. My name is Gustavo Gonzalez, and I am both your marketing manager and your design engineer. And these are my partners. My name is Jane Anderson, and I am the project manager. And I am Megan Barnett. I am the financial analyst. Now, we're here to help you be more successful in your electricity management by helping you reduce that bill you get every month by pg and &E, and by helping you not have to be so stressed out. Now, it's actually quite simple how we do this. All you gotta do is join Helios, and you'll be able to have our solar panels, which utilize the sun's energy, its bountiful power, such as the Greek god, which we got the name from, which is the god of the sun. So a lot of you may be wondering, what exactly is solar? And according to this dictionary definition, it is harnessing energy from the sun and using it for our benefit. But first we need to understand exactly how solar works. So first, our solar panels take the energy from the sun's rays, bringing it down to an inverter, which converts the DC rays into, into AC, which then goes to a our fuse box and the, or the meter and when it goes to the fuse box it is used to power the appliances that are being turned on in the house and all of the electricity that you produce from the solar panels that isn't used in the house gets put back into the grid which goes back to your credit for your utilities. Now why solar? Well it's quite simple. If we look at the comparison in between solar and fossil fuels, fossil fuels actually cause many harms, both by using by various methods, such as coal and gasoline. When burned, they release harmful chemicals into the environment, which affect both our health and our and our life. Now, they can produce such uh, illnesses such as asthma or heart disease. Now, electricity, solar power, that is all natural. It does not harm us in any way, and it is free. And it does not go increasing by 6.7% every year, such as electricity by pg &E has done for the last 20 years. This, this is a map of our carbon footprint today. Imagine you are in a room that has a capacity of 83, but there are 93 people in there. It's too crowded. You need to get rid of some people so that you can be seated comfortably and breathe freely. Now, this Hold on. <laughs> slowly disappears. Oh, it's getting stuck here. Oh, it is a map of what it would look like if we get rid of some of those people. Just like how we would get rid, we would minimize our carbon footprint. The earth is overcrowded with our carbon footprint. It's too big right now. And soon enough, it will change. Just like how, just like how the earth changed from having dinosaurs to humans. It will change from having humans to a different species that will definitely treat it a lot better. Still waiting for it to disappear. This went a lot faster. There's a dramatic feeling that a very dramatic <laughs> feeling right now. See, this is exactly how it would be if you get our solar, pa solar panels instead of using those fossil fuels you guys use almost every day. What do you want your carbon footprint to be? There's a the sun. <laughs> Street, Merced, California. Her annual electric usage is 12,050 kilowatt hours, and her average electric rate is 24 cents per kilowatt hour. Yearly, she pays an electric cost to PG&E $2,892. Something you can be using on something else like clothes and food. <laughs> she came to our company and said, "I want to save. I'm tired of paying PG&E. They're money hungers." <laughs> so. We went to her house and we saw that her house 
where the sun would hit at the highest peak was towards the southwest. Her azimuth, which is a solar roof orientation, is 200 degrees south. Her solar roof area was 819 square feet. Now, as you can see, there's an intersecting roof and there's a chimney. So we had to separate the panels so that they would fit. Now, for the design. We have solar panels which are SPR X22 360 and they produce 60.6 .6 volts each one of them. Now, when adding the solar panels, we decided to do it in two strings of eight panels each. Like that, we would be under our, we would be under, we would be in the right area of voltage and we wouldn't go over, so we wouldn't ruin them or cause harm. And uh, we decided to do this because it's the most efficient way. Now, let's talk money. <laughs> this is the financial summary of our client, Angelica Skyler. Originally, her system costs were $20,800. However, since she pays up front, she gets the benefit of the 30% tax investment tax, which gives her federal tax credit of $8,640, which leaves her with a return on investment of 11.4%. Her solar system as a whole annually produces 9,586 kilowatt hours of electricity, which is also equal to the net offset kilowatt, kilowatt hours, which is the amount of electricity she is not paying for towards PG&E. This number, that 9,000, is equal to 6.7 metric tons or is equivalent to CO2 emissions from 7,190 pounds of coal burned. That $2,300 is the amount of money Angelica keeps for herself to go towards more important things such as food and clothing. And in 8.8 .8 years, she will have paid back her solar system, and so from then on, it's all profit. Now, here at Helios, we have three forms of payment. We have upfront pay, which is cash. We have loan, which is to pay the money back monthly with interest. And we have lease, which is no down payment and the benefit of third party ownership, which equals no maintenance. However, however with the upfront pay and loan, there is 30% tax credit, which is not which does not apply to the lease option. Who here has heard the song, I'm Walking on Sunshine? Ah, all you guys, you're, you're great people. Mm -hmm. No, when you go outside, you feel the sun on your face and you bask in it because when you're inside, all you feel is AC or heat. And you don't pay for it. You go outside and you don't have to pay to feel the sun on your face, but you do have to pay to have that grass on your feet or have the roof over your head. Because those things are, you, just, you have to own it. You don't have to own the sun to feel it on your face. And a quote from one of my favorite singers, Bonnie Wright, solar power is the last energy source that isn't owned. Nobody taxes the sun, yet. <laughs> Move with the sun. Yeah.